Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Let's get acquainted with the cities of Western Armenia says The U.S. State Department stressed the concern of Parliamentary Assembly of Council of Europe about the future of Armenian cultural heritage in a church which is controlled by Azerbaijan. We have Artvashen today and they are ready to move there. The Ombudsman considers it important to achieve solutions that provide sufficient condition for all the rights of Artsakh compatriots. The letter of Kurm Humayak to Haikazun Areporti, David Hovanisian, European weightlifting champion, Ara Agayan, vice champion. Let's support the state television company of Western Armenia. This is a fortress city in a field of Cilicia, Western Armenia, in the province of Kozan or the province of Adana. The city is surrounded by vast fertile fields of Cilicia and rich orchards of orange, lemon, almond, olive, grapes, and other fruits, vegetables, and rice. This has been mentioned since ancient times. The city was located in a convenient location from a strategic point, being away from the coast. This became more beautiful and built up during the reign of Hatum I and his successors. Near the city, on the inaccessible Cis Mountain, there was a powerful and strong cis fortress built by the hands of Armenians, which was a reliable guarantee of security. Cis was also a major religious center. Churches of size of dozen and half were built in the city at various times. The city also had high schools, worthy of capital. The Armenians of Cis suffered greatly for the massacre 1909 and in 1915, 1918 were massively deported and evacuated by the Turkish people. The U.S. State Department refers to the concern expressed by the structure in Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe Resolution on the humanitarian consequences of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict in connection with the future of dozens of Armenian churches, monasteries including the Ladivank Monastery Complex, Khachkars and other cultural heritage monuments in the territories under the control of Azerbaijan. It is noted that the Azerbaijani government has repeatedly refused Armenian pilgrimage to enter the monastery on the church under the control of Azerbaijan. The the State Department recalled that the resolution expresses concern about the narrative developing in Azerbaijan at a state level, which seeks to replace the Armenian culture heritage with the Caucasian Albanian heritage. It is emphasized that during the year many reports were received about the vandalism against Armenian culture and religious sites, as well as about deliberate action on the government against the Armenian heritage. Artsvashen was not an enclave, it was an integral part of Armenia. This was stated by the head of Shogagat community of Gerarkunik region, Seliko Shushanyan, who is from Artsvashen. He noted that the Armenian said should clearly formulate this today and not to try prove that Artsvashen is Armenian. We should not make excuses and try to prove that has already been proven. Artsvashen was, is and will remain Armenian. And today there is an Artsvashen community in Champarak and the Artsvashen people are ready to return to their settlements. So, Liko Shushanyan said, 60 and 70 percent of residents of Artsakh live in Chambarang. Since 1992, the head of Artsvashen community, Mamikon Khechoyan, said that today the legal basis of Armenia cited that since the foundation, since 1854, only Armenians have lived in Artsvashen. Centuries before, there were graves and hajkars, that is, Christians lived here until 1854. This territory with 4,600 hectares of land also recognized as Armenian territory of the Soviet years. We had nothing to do with Azerbaijan. In 1854, mostly people from Artsakh and Western Armenia moved to the village of Choratan, from where they moved and founded the village of Artsvashen. Before that, no Turks have lived there, so we drove them away. They lived there, that is the historical Armenian territory, Khachoyan said. At a briefing in the National Assembly of Armenia, human rights defender of Armenia, Kristina Grigorian, referring to the issue of status of Artsakh, said that the tactics of Artsakh foreign policy or the achievement on this are the decisions of political decision makers. For me as an ombudsman, the most important principle, which I have repeatedly mentioned, is the available of sufficient conditions for a guaranteed realization of the rights of our compatriots living in Artsakh. This is my most important approach as a defender's mandate, Kristina Grigorian said. Touching upon the question of whether human rights are currently protected in Artsakh, Grigorian said that at the moment, of course, it is impossible to talk about the satisfactory state of human rights protection of Artsakh. Obviously, first of all, security issues. People don't have a sense of security. Due to the very aggressive policy and the psychological pressure, pressure or threat, people in many cases were forced to leave their home, could not use their property rights, could not exercise their rights to education, Grigorian said. 
She said that wars and similar post-war conflicts are directly the biggest risks to the rights of individuals. At the beginning of 13th century, Haikazun Alevortis was led by Kurm Hamayag. We inherited several letters from him, with the help of which he tried to lead various Haikazuni communities in order to combat the Armenian creed. In those years, the church imposed taxes on the villagers, which put the people in a very difficult situation. Most of the villagers, in order to survive, tried to become monks, and having settled in monasteries, enjoyed the benefits by the villagers. Read the full letter of Kurm Hamayag on our official website. The European Weightlifting Championship continues in Tiara, the capital of Albania. On the next day of the competition, 96 kg weightlifters entered a fight where Armenia was represented by Ara Agayan and David Hovanisyan. Member of the Armenian national team, David Hovanisyan became the leader in the snatch and won the global medal of the exercise with 167 kg and 171 kg. In a push up exercise, Hovanisyan lifted 203 kg and 206 kg in two approaches. In this exercise, the Armenian weightlifter was awarded a silver medal. David Hovanisyan won the title of European champion with a result of 377 kilograms. The vice champion of Europe was Ara Agalyan, who gained 375 kilograms. Western Armenia congratulates the Armenian athletes, wishing them new victories. Dear compatriots, patriotic sons of Western Armenia, the leadership of Western Armenia remaining true to its ideas and principles continues to present various events related to the history, present and the future of our country. To you in a new way through television and online platforms, inform the political and public events of the government and it also gives you the opportunity to communicate with each other more closely. Through our television, you can establish direct communication with the government and members of the National Assembly. You can raise issues of concern to you that are directly related to Western Armenia and its citizens. You can also make various interesting proposals. We want to remind you that our television is not engaged in self-promotion, but wants to further expand its capabilities and connections through you. Your support is a victory for all of us. Together we can do more. Now musical part Armenian folk song, Hobi Karapetian's song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.